Today's Swift Zwift tip covers how to hide that blue right on thumb from falling from the sky on Mac and PC. This is something that I've done on my Zwift Livestream PC and a lot of people have asked how I went about doing it. So today I'm going to cover exactly this. Now why would you want to remove the ride on thumb? Isn't it a good thing? Well if you're riding solo and there's not many thumbs flying around, sure, it's not much of a problem. But if you're in one of these really popular pace partner group rides, it can become quite annoying with all these thumbs raining down. And if you're with the C Cadence pace partner bunch, C Cadence has the blue chevron around her head indicating where she is it can become lost in the forest of thumbs. Before getting into the details, a few quick notes and disclaimers on this, which I'll put up on the screen. Now this simply just removes the blue right on thumb object from falling from the sky for all avatars. So yourself and anybody else you see on screen. You will still get the right on text notification in the top bar that if someone has given you a right on and all right ons given and received will still count towards your activity totals. And yes, unfortunately, you'll still hear that right on notification sound too. The disclaimers and warnings that I'll put on this is that it's an unofficial and unsupported hack, so use at your own risk. Zwift could choose to change this at any time and how the thumb is displayed. So this may work today, may not work tomorrow. This method has worked for me for the past few months and across multiple subsequent updates from Zwift. So I'm pretty confident it will continue to work for a while yet. How we go about hiding the thumb on Windows and Mac is very similar. It's the same resource file, they're just in different locations. First up on PC, I've zero bited the file that is in program files x86 Zwift data pickups right on, and the file is ride underbar on.gde. Now, if you're familiar with the Windows Explorer, you can simply go and create a new file there with something like Notepad, rename the file, move it out, and away you go. You just need to zero byte the ride on.gde file. If you're less technical, you can follow the commands that I have on the screen and they're also in the video description below. In summary, I just dropped away PowerShell Terminal as administrator and run the commands that will back the file up first and then zero byte a file in the place of the original thumb. On Mac, it's exactly the same process except the file is in a different location and you have to use a few different commands on screen there and also in the video description. If you're asking why I just didn't delete the file, well, that can cause other problems. If the file doesn't exist, Zwift may crash or may just simply download it again and make sure your Zwift install is correct. Zero biting it can sometimes trick it to load nothing and that's exactly what we're after, no thumbs. A quick walkthrough of running these commands on a Windows 10 machine. Down to the start menu there, we type in power, which gets us to PowerShell. Right click, run as administrator. Click yes to grant those privileges. Up comes the terminal. We need to run our commands from. The commands are over here in Notepad. I just copy and paste those into the terminal window. They have succeeded. And just to double check, we will go over to the Windows Explorer, Program Files x86, Zwift, Data, uh, it's in Pickups, Write On, and we can see there the Write On.gd is now zero kilobytes, and the backup file is there at 21 kilobytes. And next time Zwift loads, there'll be no thumbs raining from the sky, as you see here on the right. If for whatever reason you want to restore that thumb to falling from the sky, then simply delete that zero byte file and rename the backup to ride underbar on.gde and restart Zwift. Or going the sledgehammer approach to restore those thumbs, just simply delete Zwift and do a full reinstall. That can't really hurt, remembering that all your game progress is saved up in the cloud associated with your account. Okay, that's it for today's Swift Zwift tip. As mentioned, all the details are in the video description. Let me know how you go. Thanks for watching.